What it do? It's your boy Jay Reed. Back at it again, guys. Okay, so the boy Reload back at it again. Got another banger for you. Like, comment, press the subscribe button. Press that thumbnail right there. That's the little bell right there. Press that. Share this video. Family, friends, and loved ones. Hey, man, we had it with another one. Good big guys, guys. So we're going to talk about today. J. Cole, he just dropped a Heavens EP for another one. Uh, he did Pipe Down, the Drake song. It's on CLB. I thought the freestyle was beautiful, man. It was an amazing song. Amazing. It like he filmed it, recorded it, uh, excuse me, in the hotel. Dope, dope song. Song was amazing. I already listened to it like five times. Nothing less than sensational. Just remarkable. And excellent, excellent song. Love how he wrote the beat. Uh, I still think Drake's song is original. The original is better somewhere. But I like the fact that he just got on the track and just he I don't know man it look like it sounds so far it sounds like it's better but I don't know I don't know if it's, it's a good one right there is Drake version better than this one eh, Drake version is good though because it got a hook to it pipe down then it, and it's so easy to remix songs though I think well it's not as easy but he already had the format for it but I definitely think it was a great selection though uh I, I think Drake version is slash slightly better but uh but Cole version is nice though man it's like he's filmed in the hotel uh, I would play it, but I don't want to get copyrighted a flag for it. So you know, this is my honest review on it. I think the song was hot. It was out of it was uh, very sudden. He usually J Cole like to drop music usually towards the end of the year. Uh, he already gave us something with you know the off season. So then he dropped this right here of Heaven's EP. So he's coming up with more music. Uh, he seems hungry, man. He seems like he's still rapping like he ain't got a, he got something to prove. He rapping like his uh. Like he rapping, he rapping like he rapping paycheck to paycheck right now. Like this is his first show right now. He's, I still see the passion, the hunger. I still see him. I still see him want to strive and still continue to be the best artist in the game and continue his reign of being a legend, of being the an all time great on the Mount Rushmore of the new generation of rappers. Or probably one of the top five or top ten rappers of all time. Definitely coming out the South, North Carolina to be exact, Vietnam. He definitely blessed us with an extremely, extremely fire ass song. Nothing. It was just impeccable, man. It's like you know, it's just cold being cold at this point. You know, he just keep giving us classics after classics the last ten years, the last decade. Uh, definitely a dope song. Definitely a dope song. Uh, you know, songs body. Uh, I, I think he's not dropping another album soon. The 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 set the sequel to the off season, the 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 fall off. So I'm definitely looking forward to that song. I'm definitely looking forward to that album. Uh, Cole is one of my favorite rappers, man. He's definitely got to be uh dog. Definitely, uh, I don't know if this song is going towards the fall. I mean, the uh, the fall the fall off. That's supposed to be, you know, the second album he's supposed to be dropping soon. The sequel to the off season. So, <clears throat> I'm definitely uh, ready to listen to it. Uh, let's get into some of the lyrics. Let's, uh, let's start with the outro, though. The outro was hard to say. It's like, supposed to be relaxing. This passion make, the passion, the passion makes that impossible. Like, bro, he's still passionate about the game. He still feel like, bro, like that first. Feel, when he go in the studio, I think, I think J. Cole feel like he got something to prove. It's like this is his first time. He make every song feel like his first song for the most part. He make it feel like this is his last song. It make it seem like, bro, he really got nothing to dollar in the dream. He rap like he got a dollar in the dream in his pocket. Like, he rap like he's still hungry trying to get Jay-Z his fucking, his demo tape. And Jay declined him. So that, is, that made him go harder. That made him put that battery in his back and really strive harder like I really gotta get this shit out the mud I really gotta get this shit off the muscle get it out the puddle I really gotta grind 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 you know everybody wanna grind but nobody everybody wanna shine but nobody wants to grind so that really really was like a, you know like rocket feel for him that's what I feel like J. Cole is rapping he's rapping like this is goddamn his first album let's go to his first album he rapping like this is goddamn cold world like the, the first album the sideline story the, Friday Night Lights. This is the J. Cole he's giving me right now. He's back in that bag. You know, that that, that, that Cold World mixtape. That Friday Night Lights. Uh, he's, he's in that goddamn, that Forest Hills Drive. You know, he's he's back at that. I You know, I think that's one of J. Cole's best albums. But, you know, supposed to be relaxing. Supposed to be relaxing. This passion. 
the, this passion makes me the passion makes that impossible. Uh, definitely a dope boy. Like he's on vacation, sound like, and he decided to do it. He's at the hotel. I guess he had his camera. People was like, you know what? I gotta record this song. I'm recording the uh, on the jet, and I'm recording this right here. So definitely fire line. Supposed to be relaxing. This passion makes that impossible. So you know he he can't take days off. You know when you're a legend, you're great. You know you you're always inspired. You you always want to write. You always want to get on people beats. You always got something to prove. You know it's never enough. Like you feel like you're cheating yourself when you do take days off. I guess that's how he's feeling. You know when you, you when you're a top tier artist. You know you know you know what I'm saying the 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 goat in human form. You keep get going. Um, Man, he, he he was kicking some bars and this shit. Man, I even love the intro. He said, I'm working on dying. Yeah, yeah, gotta have a space. She know what I mean. She belongs to the streets. You know, with the intro, of course. You know, with Future in the intro. Uh, and he said, with every record, I'll be asking the masses to tune your hearts to me. I represent intelligent niggas that grew up harshly. But lately, I've been questioning, second guessing whether or not I've got something to offer since I... Done eluded poverty, like J Cole rap for niggas who on who catching the bus every day. He, he rap for niggas who's broke and got shit eating fucking cheese crackers and Ritz cookies and shit and spam in college. Now he rapping for that nigga eating ramen noodles and s drinking Gatorade. Like J Cole rapping for that nigga right now. He rapping for the people in the stroke. He rapping for that nigga doing time in jail. So, we got behind bars for five to ten years. He's rapping for those niggas who's in the trenches, who's in the projects. Cold, man. Giving us classic after classic. Like, just giving us his best. Like, nothing less than that. Not cheating the fans. Always being consistent in his career. Uh, Just phenomenal artist, man. Just phenomenal artist. And if y'all haven't heard of albums, I just said check them out, please. Uh, Let's get into it some more. Oh man, he said fighting back tears. I promised to switch gears and said to myself, whatever you do, you don't leave potentially. For the day forward, I move with new veracity. Ferrari coupe velocity, a fail proof velocity. Success is in the episode of a nigga tried his hardest. I'm at peace knowing God ain't dealing this group of cars for me. Man. Oh, this is a dope line he said right here. He said, behind Drake and Kada, yeah, them niggas are superstars to me. Maybe deep down I'm afraid of the luminous. Luminous. So when you see me on the red carpets, I'm moving awkwardly, posing all nervous, afraid of the judgment, and the thought of showing too much of my day is repugnant. I keep, I be keeping my kids away from the gaze of the public, cause these days it feel like they hate is my favorite. They feel like hate is my favorite. They feel like hate is their favorite subject. Fucking attitude is like Young O'Shea with an AK. Aim at your brain, violated. I bust it. I don't play when it comes to my, when it comes to family. That's one thing I refuse. Pimping their kids out for view just to be in the news. Damn! The punchlines, the bars, the metaphors. Like, I see what he's saying. Like, like a lot of celebrities pimping their kids out for views. Like, the Kardashians. Well, I don't want to say that. I don't want them coming for me, goddammit. But, you know, certain shit, goddamn, is pimping them out and shit. Like, for views. Using the name solely for clout. Solely for clout purposes. You know, they're just... You got people out there doing that shit for clout, G. And they got them doing that for their kids just so they can give you putting their family in the spotlight. And they hate that shit. And I'm pretty sure Cole, Cole always been private with his family. Like, I think I seen an interview with the guy asking was he married. He didn't even want to answer the question or whatever. So, he definitely want to keep his family away from the public eye. Away from the media. Uh, definitely um, is extremely secluded, excluded. You know, he don't even really be on social media like that. He be on there once in a blue moon, hardly speaks, and he barely does interviews for the most part. I mean, it's only a handful of J. Cole interviews, so he's a very introverted person. He just loves dropping his music and his content. I think you said, make sure my uh, camera was recording, guys. So, yeah, uh, definitely, definitely always been like that. He said, that's right, I never seen one person go to jail, but every nigga I know them going to jail. At least once proven we the police, police hunt for the pain. We smoked three blunts the size of three, the size of tree trunks. He's smoking big blunts to get over his dead homies. He's smoking big blunts, 
knowing that goddamn my homies that man the bars in this shit is incredible, man. Cole's got to be one of your gotta be lyricists, wanna be the, the one of the greatest he got to be like top five lyricists, the top ten lyricists of all time. His storytelling, his metaphors, his similes, his the 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 the, the antonyms, you know, come on man. The way he just does it, you know, it's just totally, totally remarkable. Like, this is definitely God giving talent he's doing. Uh, ain't even got bass in the video. I remember watching it. Uh, looked like it was an expensive hotel at that. Uh, I like what J. Cole does this. I feel like he should do more songs like this, jump on beats and, you know, rap to him, freestyle to him. I definitely think he should do more of that. Uh, I want to see if he's going to drop some more music at the end of this year. Um... Definitely want to see that. I definitely would like to see another J. Cole and Drake feature, you know. The songs they do got, I, I think they're a, a fire in my humble opinion. You know, like In the Morning, uh, you know, the Jodeci Freestyle. I think that's incredible. I think there's only two songs as far as I know. Jodeci Freestyle and In the Morning, just two classic songs. Uh, just great songs at that. You know, just amazing. You know, the Jodeci Freestyle was just amazing. J. Cole and Drake was just, I feel like it was like, battling to see who's the better artist. It was like, nigga, I'm the better artist. No, I'm the better artist. Like, bro, they was just going at it. Like, it's like lyrical warfare. Just lyricism at the highest. And they were so lyrical that then you can understand what they're saying. Because being a lyricist is so hard because then you want to, you spitting some shit. But then for you to spit it and then the fans to understand it. Man, that's, that's incredible right there. You know, J. Cole has a crazy fan base. He always, you know, do sellout shows. He probably charged like half a mil to a mil for a show. Nothing, nothing less than that, I'm assuming. No, nothing less than that. He's always charging stuff like that, I believe. He, he should be charging that. He, and J. Cole does arenas, man. You know, he does, not even arenas, stadiums. He does stadiums, you know, basketball. He does arenas and stadiums and now. You know, he's, he's doing major shit. You know, he's doing Madison, Madison Square Gardens. He's doing Chicago goddamn games. L.A. LA Lakers, you know, at the Staples. He's, he's doing major shit right now. You know, uh, definitely, definitely. I feel like he deserved more Grammys awards. I feel like he's been snubbed. Uh, it was definitely great to see him win and win with 21. Um, definitely want to see him do some more. Uh, definitely would like to see him do some more of... Uh, Freestyles, uh, so just so, so talented, man. Uh, so consistent, you know. For him to drop, I'm surprised though, because usually he don't do stuff like this. Drop music kind of back to back. He kind of like to, you know, you know, extend it out, you know. But I, I feel like, man, he he got one on this right there. That pipe down, you know. He kind of remind me of, like this Wayne syndrome, like when Wayne usually do a freestyle back in the day. You know, when Wayne was in his prime, you know, in 07, 08, when he did a freestyle, you know, 06, Wayne, he'd do a freestyle and people forget about the original song. So, I don't know, if people going to forget about Drake's original pipe down or they going to fuck with just J. Cole shit? You know, uh, that, that's something to think about right there. Uh, definitely a great beat slayer. I think the beat was, uh, the instrumentals on it was phenomenal. Already phenomenal. Uh... And it does when he says, so saying yes to a feature just means I'm about to eat lunch, bitch. I'm going for it. No never shot, he punt. I'm the one. And you can be sure, speaking of beachfront, I'm kicking my feet up while I write this in somewhere tropical. Supposed to be relaxing, but this passion makes it makes that impossible. Just, oh, man. Oh, man. He said, that's lunch, man. He said, I'm going for it. I ain't punting. Like, we ain't taking no day. We ain't, we ain't going for the fourth of inches. We trying to go the distance. We we going long for. We putting all it on the line, man. He's he's rapping like goddamn. He trying to get signed to the Rockefeller band. It, it feel like when Jay Z introduced him to Rock Nation ten years ago. It's just uh just just greatness at greatness. It's good to hear J Cole dropping music. Uh, the legends are dropping. Kendrick is dropping, doing features, and Cole is out. You know, just good to see. You know, the top tier artists. You know the block, the blockbuster artist, the you know the artist with cachet, with clout, you know doing their thing. The artists who are basically running the game, you know, dropping right now. So it's good to see that right there. Uh, definitely ready for the next J Cole album, next project. Definitely want to see what he got up his sleeves. 
uh, with this body of work. So, you know, J. Cole always does this. You know, he did a Uchi Wally Wally freestyle not too long ago. Uh, so he do more freestyles than that, man. If y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Press the thumbnail, share it. Hey, I appreciate y'all. Stay tuned.